Hi everyone, welcome to episode number two of the Chief Justice of the United States. Yesterday we talked about John Jay. Today we talk about John Rutledge, who was alive from 1739 until 1800. But he was in office as the Chief Justice from pretty much in, only in 1795. Which from that time frame was August 12th to December 28th, you know, in 1795, which is a grand total of 138 days. Yeah. Uh, he was part of the Federalist Party. He was appointed by President George Washington. And his vote to become Chief Justice was 10 to 14. He was actually uh, voted down, meaning that he wasn't actually officially like voted in, but he somehow was in, but that's a story for another day. So with him being Chief Justice... Who were the uh, associate justices with him? Well, there were only six in total, including him. You have John Rutledge, William Cushing, James Wilson, John Blair Jr., James Iredell, and William Patterson. Well, there wasn't really not many uh, cases that really were um, like this court really wasn't known for not really anything to be honest. Because, uh, according to my research, there really isn't a lot of stuff, like, here. So, therefore, <laughs> we're gonna cut this episode right now. Yeah, I know, it's weird. <sighs> oh, boy. Uh, he's also... Uh, John Rutledge is the uh, only Supreme Court justice, or at least chief justice, that had the shortest tenure of office. Who is the longest? We'll get there when we do. But in the meantime, thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And we will see you all tomorrow where we talk about Oliver Ellsworth. Stay cool, stay tuned.